Hello everybody, it's Jim from Winnie Auction and Appraisal, uh, doing a video for my next estate sale over in West Chesterfield, New Hampshire. Um, I'm going to walk you through and kind of point out some things here and there, and absolutely check out my website afterwards and the advertising for this sale. It will be July 22nd, starting at 9 a.m., uh, and it'll go, that's a Thursday, it'll go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, into Sunday. I'm going to do a four-day sale for this one. There's a ton of stuff here. Um, let's get started. So first when you walk in, there's knickknacks and smalls everywhere. You can see just an abundance. The lighting's not too too good, but I'll try to to point some things out. So there's a lot of glassware out here. Here's some artwork down here at the floor. All right, we got some, there's some books. Like I said, there's more tchotchke type stuff, some glass. There's some blue canning jars over there. Uh, here's some pool balls mixed in with a bunch of other things. I see toys. I see vintage stereo equipment. Uh, I see there's flowers around. There's nicely decorated knickknacks here in this room. Just get a, a better video here. There's a nice old Sony. Eh, you can't really see it. Sorry for the, the light. A uh, nice old Sony uh, stereo deck. Some nice speakers back there that probably are hooked to it. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff here. Okay, we're going to make our way into the house. We'll see if we can get some lights on in here. Kind of dim, but we'll go through the cupboards. So, yeah, I apologize. You can't really see in here. But uh, there's some glassware up there. Uh, some nice milky type glass. Let's see what else. There's some nice fruit jars, fruit glass set up there. Uh, miscellaneous. More miscellaneous. More miscellaneous food processors, some more milk glass type things. Maybe some Pyrex up in there. Some mixing bowls. Some mystery wrappings up there. Probably looks like a punch bowl. Here's a nice old uh, bread box. Some appliances here. I'm not sure if the appliances are going yet. Um, but as you can see, there's plenty of other stuff here. There's a plated pitcher. All right. Here's a dining room in here. Um, more small things, like I said, there's toys all around here. Some vintage, some a little bit newer. Um, got a nice kitchen table here, full of stuff. Mostly smalls, some nice collective plates, a decanter. Um, in here, some teapots up here. Uh, more toys and uh, some some furniture here. Some nice salt and pepper type things. Nice white glassware. There's a neat old cookie jar. All right, into this room. Some old, more vintage uh, stereo equipment over there. There's a VCR tapes now. There are a ton of VCR tapes, as you can see. There's a ton of them here. And I believe there's even more. Yep, there's even more back here. We got some records hiding back here. A nice hanging lamp. A nice clock. More tchotchke type stuff. A recliner over here. Let's see if I can get a light on. All right, there's some encyclopedias or something. Nice little couch, coffee table. Here's one of the uh, curio cabinets full with nice drink glasses. Some shot glasses up top. It looks like some tea. And even more. 
down here. Tons and tons of glass here. All right, nice little lamp there. And now we'll go down the hall, we'll hit some of the bedrooms. Uh, bathroom, okay, here's the bedroom. Packed full. So we got some vintage clothing, of course more knickknacks up there, some artwork. Somebody liked the Pegasus horses. Um, some nice furniture in here. A matching set jewelry boxes over there and again kind of hard to get to because there's just so much stuff here's some vintage clothing and the little pedestal single bed here next bedroom well in the hallway we get this nice piece right here uh, this bedroom, what do we got? We have a bed, we got some books. I'm sure in the closet there's a ton of clothing. Some more furniture. And we got, this is a, looks like a double bed in this room. Alright, last bedroom. Upstairs here. More glassware. More clothing, more dressers, books. This has a looks like a double bed as well. A couple closets in here full of clothing. Some nice bureaus. All right, and I'm going to pause this while we go get ready to walk down into the basement. All right, so we're sneaking down into the basement. Down here, I'll try to get a, a nice panorama here. There's a little walkway here into the dark. Let me turn on my light. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so as you can see, everything's stacked. It's about a foot walkway through to the back of that wall. Over here, you can see these boxes are just stacked literally up to the rafters. Now, the good thing is these boxes have little white tags on them, and it gives an idea of what's in them. However, we can only get through the first row here to see what it is. We have no clue what is back here. And this is the whole basement. It's packed right up to the rafters with boxes of stuff. What's in them, we have no clue. But we will find out when we come to the sale. All right, let's see what else. So I'm going down a pretty skinny pathway right here. And as you can see, boxes, floor to ceiling, the whole way. Very tight pathway. I'll just give you a hint. So what does that say? Ceramic bread set, Christmas mugs. See a date down there. The box on anyway says 1998. So it's been 22 years since, since these have been down here. So I don't know. Does that say Hummel? I don't know. Uh, football glass. Food grinder. All right. We'll keep digging down here. A neat little suitcase. Um, but like I said, as you can see. Oh, here's a hoard of books. What's in these ones? Shells, uh, wool sweater, um, you can't, looks like plates. Um, and again, as you can see, it's really tight. Christmas centerpieces. Uh, what does that say? Silvery china set. Cups, vases and cups and cups and books, small plates, books. Let's see if I can get back here. Oh, I got some vintage toys. Ooh, a light bright. That's a good one. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's an old Raggedy Ann doll. 
Uh, let's see, what is that? Christmas decorations, Halloween stuff, uh, toys, glass, wine, mason jars, uh, blue big vase, stoneware, more vases. It looks like abundance of glass. Xmas stuff. Christmas. Christmas. Uh, looks like helmet. Some helmet. There's some there's a karaoke machine. Some TVs. Let's see what's back here. <coughs> looks like hunting equipment. Um, <coughs> fishing stuff. Uh, here, we're getting into some tooling. Some certificates of sorts. There's a military strap for something. Looks like a, a uh, water skiing board back there. Tools, tools, tools. All right, I think it looks like a minnow holder. Um, let's see what else. All right, that's about it back here. I'm going to just video my way back out, and then we will pause it and go into the garage. What does it say? Books. Yarns. So looks like there's some sewing stuff. What is this? Looks like an enlarger. I think. Nice outdoor stuff. Looks like there's a bunch of luggage here too. Can't get over there. Um, but there is tonnage at this place. What was that? It just hit me. Oh, look at that. Nice old driftwood. Looks like an antler rack of sorts. Alright, what else? Um, there's another hidden area over here. Let's go over there. Oh, more boxes. Alright. Another hidden area over here. Let me guess. More boxes of stuff. Ooh, there's a bunch of wood over there. I must use that to heat, but yeah, more boxes. I'll pass the rafters over there. So this is going to be a big, a good picker place here. Um, there's a nice little desk right there. All right, so I'm going to pause it, and we're going to go out to the garage. All right, so we're walking out to the garage. First, got to look at the front lawn. She loved her bowling balls. There's a ton of them here. Some nice things out front. I don't believe this is for sale. I think they said they're going to keep that. However, there is some stuff outside. Some props for a boat. Now, I couldn't get this door open. But this one should open. Let's see what we got. And of course, it is packed. Solid. Let's see if we can get some zoom in stuff. So I see a snow blower down there. A bunch of bird cages here. Some cooking stuff for campfires. A bunch of bird cages. More clothing. Looks like there's some games in here. I see darts. I see some house supplies. And on that back wall. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. There's a bunch of lamps back there. Um, let's see if we can sneak over on this side and see what we got going on. Can't really get over there, but and glassware. There's just so much stuff here. All right. Well, that's going to conclude the video portion. Check out the website for more pictures. I'll have pictures of uh, what I can get to anyway. Um, but again, this sale will be July 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. That's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, 
from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And there's tonnage here. Obviously, we won't be able to price everything, but we would encourage bulk buying and come here and make your pile, and we'll give you one price for everything. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you at the sale. This is Jim signing off. Winnie Auction Appraisal. Have a good one.